Yeah, so good morning. My name is Yi Xuan Xu, uh, undergraduate student at Tsinghua University. Today I will talk about our recent work, Bitter Selection Problem in Position Auctions. Oh. All right. A fast and simple algorithm via Poisson approximation. This is a joint work with Professor Nick Rabin from Shanghai University of Finance and Economics and Ren Fei Zhou, who is a classmate of mine in Tsinghua. When we browse the internet, we see ads alongside with the web pages. These ads are sold by ad companies to advertisers in real time via automated auctions. In such auctions, the ad company usually runs a complex machine learning model on each advertiser to get an accurate estimate of their valuation for the ad slot. However, since, um, since running the model for each advertiser incurs a great computation, uh, while the whole process must finish in a short period of time, it is sometimes impossible to run the model for each advertiser. Um, in practice, the platform handles this with a two-stage selection process. It first, filters out a fraction of the advertisers using prior distributions uh, of the advertisers' valuations, and then it runs a proper auction for the remaining advertisers using the complex model. The process of selecting advertisers using prior value distributions is called the bidder selection problem. So to illustrate a problem, let, let us consider a, a concrete example. Suppose we, as the users, have entered something into a search engine, say ticket discount. Um, in a few seconds, the search engine will display a web page to us, possibly together with some ads. In this example, let us assume there are two ad slots for this search. One of them is placed at the top of the page such that the click-through rate for this position is 0.8, while the other one is placed uh, on the side, so the clicks rate for this position is lower, say 0.2. Um, there are five advertisers interested in displaying an ad in our search. Um, their potential valuations for being clicked are 5, 1, 3, 4, and 0.1 dollars, respectively. If the ad company knows all the valuations, then clearly assigning the first ad slot to the adver advertiser with valuation five and the second slot to the advertiser with valuation four would be the socially optimal assignment. However, the ad company does not know the valuations. Instead, it only has a prior distribution for each of these valuations. Moreover, within the time limit of responding to the search, it can only afford to query three of, this value, uh, three of this valuation, while the other two advertisers must be discarded. So suppose the ad company decides to query the valuations of advertiser one, three, and five, and discard uh, advertisers two and four. <laughs> then, after knowing the actual valuations, the ad company would assign the first ad slot to advertiser one, which has the highest valuation, and the second one to advertiser three, which has the second highest valuation among the selected advertisers. The social welfare of this assignment will then be five times 0.8 plus three times 0.2. This is an approximation of the optimal social welfare. The whole process can be summarized as a succinct mathematical problem. Let us first focus on a case where there is only one ad slot uh, there are n bidders competing for the ad slot, and each of them has a private valuation that is chosen independently from a known prior distribution. We would like to choose a subset of K of the bidders and run an auction among them to determine the assignment of it. And we aim to maximize the social welfare. Since the auction format is a single item auction, the objective here is then to maximize the formula shown on the screen which is the expected maximum of the valuations of the selected bidders. Um, this is a, a fundamental mathematical problem, and it has, to, uh, has been shown to be NP-hard. So what we can hope for here is a 1 minus epsilon approximation algorithm. This is also known as a PTAS. Uh, when there are multiple ad slots, the auction format here is known as position auctions. 
Let the click-through rate for the ad slot be W1 through WN, where W is a decreasing array. Uh, our objective then becomes uh, this formula. Here, V subscript parenthesis I denotes the is highest valuation among the selected bidders. Um, so this concludes the formal definition of the bidder selection problem in position auctions. Uh, prior to our work, some special cases like single item auction and L unit auction of bidder selection problem in position auctions have already been studied, and there has been PTAS algorithms for these cases. <laughs> However, um, all of these algorithms are based on discretizing and enumerating all possible distributions, um, which results. Okay. Sorry. What? So. Uh, did you just mute it? No, we, we are here. Uh... It's okay. We have problems on Zoom online. It's okay. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so all of these algorithms are. Ba okay. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, so. it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we can hear you. Yeah. Um, are based on discretizing and enumerating all possible distributions which results in a bad W exponential dependency on the parameter epsilon. So therefore, although these algorithms are indeed pitases in theory, uh, their actual running time or even small instances like n equals to 3, k equals to 2, and epsilon equals to 0 0.2 would be extremely long, making them unimplementable in practice. So, wait, what? OK. Um, our work takes a different approach uh, then the prior ones, with this approach, we are able to derive a polynomial time algorithm for the bidder selection problem in general position auctions with this approximation ratio. So 1 minus uh, OK to the minus 1 over 4. <laughs> Coupled with a straightforward brute force algorithm, this implies a p-test for the bidder selection problem in position auctions. So let me take a few seconds to 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 interpret this formula. So uh, as the parameter k grows, where well, parameter k is the number of bidders you select, uh, this approximation ratio becomes 1. So which means that as the problem scales up, this problem becomes easy. And, and when the problem scale is small, you can simply run a brute force uh, to get a, a accurate uh, answer to the problem. OK. So moreover, this algorithm is easily implemented. In our experiments, it runs fast and obtains high quality solutions. The main technique of our uh, work is called a Poisson approximation, which uh, turns the objective function into a relaxed version. This relaxed objective is a good approximation of the original one, and it is convex. So we can run standard convex optimization algorithms to optimize it. And finally, the relax relaxation works for general position auctions with careful analysis. Uh, so then the framework of our algorithm looks like this. It's just three lines. Um, first, using Poisson approximation, we obtain the relaxed objective function SW tilde. And the second, we run the convex optimization to find a solution that maximizes SW tilde. At this time, the solution might be fractional. So we need a final step to use rounding techniques to transform the solution into an integral one. So moreover, since our method is built upon convex optimization, we were able to implement our algorithm using Python and standard convex optimization libraries. And since the problem is NP-hard, we tested our algorithm against two heuristic algorithms, local search and greedy. On all of the test cases, our algorithm shows over 99.9% .9 approximation compared to the best performing heuristic. And moreover, the running time of our algorithm scales much slower than the benchmarks. Um, as a result, on large instances like n equals 1,000 and k equals 200, both benchmark took more than one day, while our algorithm took only 45 seconds. So yeah, to summarize, we propose a polynomial time algorithm for the bidder selection problem in position auctions with vanishing approximation error as parameter k grows. Theoretically, the algorithm solves a more general problem than 
a prior works about bitter selection problem. And empirically, the algorithm is implementable and performs well in experiments. So for future directions, it would be interesting to consider the bitter selection problem under different feasibility constraints or to consider the revenue maximization problem under other auction formats, like VCG auctions. Um, if you are interested in our work, please scan the QR code here to access the paper. Thanks for listening, and I will welcome any questions.